Hundreds of Leaf fans willing to sit in their cars for hours on a warm summer evening just so they can watch the game with other fans. I'm so excited. Like, I love to be around people. I love to sing the national anthem with people. It's gone so long without any hockey that any kind of participation is awesome right now. You can watch it by yourself, but it's better when there's a group. It sure is different from last year. Go Leafs, go! But for 2020, this drive-in viewing party at Ontario Place will more than do for these fans. Can't be with people, but this is our way to be with people and cheer on the best team Toronto has. And that way we can be as together as a family in a safe environment to cheer them on. For other fans, this year means a change in tradition. For years, Doug Radford has converted his Toronto home into a shrine during the playoffs. It's just always been known as an open invitation once they sort of see the Leaf Shack sign. Inviting anyone and everyone into his backyard to watch games on a big screen. Weekend games, you would get up to about 100 a, a people. This year, he's only invited a handful of close family and friends to protect his 80-year-old mother-in-law who lives next door. We have to be quite careful about that we're, you know, my wife is in there every day and, you know, bringing meals and all that. And in bars, usually packed for the playoffs, fans find a different kind of atmosphere. It definitely does seem like it's quieter. The manager of this Toronto bar says physical distancing has drastically cut their numbers during games, but fans are willing to play by the rules. I know it's very hard to ask people during these exciting times with the Leafs, the Raptors and the Jays, but for, for, uh, for the most part, a lot of our guests do understand. While none of this is ideal, fans and players have no choice but to adapt, something we've gotten used to doing here in 2020, a year many would like to forget. But in reality, the memories, like the ones these fans are creating here tonight, will probably last a lifetime. Greg Ross, CBC News, Toronto.